So I have sewn around the mask, and now I want to cut the corners. I want to trim these corners off close to, but not into the stitching. So I'm going to do it like this, and we'll see if I can show you. Uh, I'm not entirely sure we can even be successful at doing this, but let's see. So I'm not sure if you can see the stitching, but anyway, you can see where I cut the corner off. Uh, the stitching ends really close to the corner, but not into the corner. So I'll do that all around the, the mask and then turn it right side out. So now that I'm doing this, I'm tugging on the straps. I'd rather find out now if I didn't sew them in well uh, than later because we're about to finish up the mask now and I'd rather find out now. That's my husband. Okay, so I have now pressed the sides, including the open the open hole where we left to turn. So I now want to make pleats, and I'm saying pleats plural, but it's just one on each side. So right where this seam is, where the top joins to the bottom, you want to fold just above that and then fold down so that the opening of the pleat is here on the bottom side of the mask. This side measurement, once you have done the pleat, should be around two and a quarter inches. You just want to make sure that this side is the same as this side, but anything that's around two to two and a quarter inches is fine. You can even make it a little bit bigger. Um, I've got this here. I've gotten to the point where I've made enough that I can just eyeball it now. And you want to pin these in place so that we can take it over to stitch. So I'll just do this other side quickly. And now I'm ready to stitch, but there is a certain pattern to the stitching. Um, if you cannot see on this video very well, although I'll try to put it a little closer, um, be sure to check out the pattern. I'll, put a, um, I'll actually put the link to the downloadable pattern and instructions below, and the instructions include a diagram that will be a little easier to see. Let's see if I can show you here, just for you uh, more adventurous types. So when you stitch, you should have two rows of stitching over the pleats. That helps because these get tugged on so much, you don't want them to pop. So what you need to do is start stitching here. You want to back tack and stitch around the bottom, being sure that you line up this open area. These aren't stitched together, so make sure that they don't slide open so that you're stitching like that. Um, and anyway, start here, stitch around the bottom, and when you get to the corner, leave your needle in and pivot, go up to this corner, and then stitch one, two, three stitches away, and then stitch right back down, keeping it lined up and um, so that you're even with the stitch you already made, or with the edge. And then you back tack when you get down to here. Then you want to turn and start here where your little rectangle is from your previous stitching and you want to follow around and again stitch all the way around to the corner following the curve and stitch down to this corner then again do one two three stitches and then stitch back up to this this side back tack and then you're done with that. You also are going to need to put a stitch in this, in this um, nose bridge piece so that you make a pocket for the wire that you have chosen. So whether you have chosen a uh, rubber covered wire or a, um, or a, a plain wire, a pipe cleaner, um, the closures from coffee bags, just about anything that is bendable and re-bendable will work. But I don't recommend sewing them in permanently. That's why I use this nose bridge piece to make a pocket. That way, when you launder your masks, you can take those out and you can sanitize them in some other way if you want to. But you just want to be sure that you use whatever piece you're using. You want to stick it in here while it's open and measure so that the fattest part of that wire 
fits through the entire pocket. And I'll just go do that and show you the finished product and we'll be done. Okay, so I finished the mask and you can see that I have stitched all around and and did the three stitches down here and back up to the end. That's what it should look like. That's so that when you're tugging on these and putting it on and taking it off and pulling it open and all that, you don't put so much pressure on just one set of stitching. So I've also put the stitching here in the nose bridge piece. That's where my wire will go here in this piece. And then it will flip to the inside and be worn like that. So uh, also in the, in the written instructions below, sorry I blanked out for a minute there. Also in the written instructions you will see uh, photos of what this looks like on. I am sort of out of battery so I won't be filming myself in it just yet, but perhaps later. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> so I hope uh, if you have any questions be sure to leave it in the comments below and if you would like to please subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much. Bye.